All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning looking at a very sweet 1957 Chevrolet 3100 series half ton short bed big window pickup. Got a mouthful there. This is really just a good looking pickup. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. As I walk around and look at it, you can look at the reflections and the beauty of the paint on this. It's a finished in a blue pearl coat. It's a Ford color. Blue pearl coat metallic. Kind of step back here and give you a feel. It was uh, about 30k was spent on the body and paint of this truck, and it sits just right and looks just right. We'll tell you more about that as we go around here. It was done by Crash Customs here in Lake Havasu, where they stripped it all the way down to bare metal, limited amount of skim as possible, all new bedsides in the back here with a mini tub on the back so and it's all steel truck obviously you'll see the bed is finished the same way with the polished stainless hardware and the uh, uh, blonde or bleached wood in the bed just very tastefully done has centerline wheels on it with uh, with a mini tub in the back so they have a nice little dish on the wheels here keeps all of its sack or it's kept all of its factory trim other than the shaving of the emblems on it in other words it still has the door handles the windows themselves, the wind wings have been eliminated. It has power windows on it now, and they're one-piece windows on it. We'll actually show you that as we get through the walk around here more. Factory-style mirror on the door here, but the fit and finish, the paint was done about just about the end of 2013. We know because we did an appraisal on this truck just after Crash had finished it here in Lake Havasu. Most people know Spud's Garage is based out of Lake Havasu, and this is a hometown truck here. They refinished all the bumpers and the bright work and the grill and the nose of these 57s are just beautiful. They just have that sweet look and you got to like the hood lines on it. I know the sun's a little bit odd right there but it'll also give you a little peek at the color of the truck. Underneath the hood is a uh, 350 Chevy V8. Nicely dressed. The paint quality follows through all the way underneath the hood. We'll share that with you in a moment. 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission, Ford 9 inch rear differential, posit track, has headers, dual exhaust, has air conditioning, power windows, has an updated uh, Camaro style front clip on it, professionally installed here in Lake Havasu. Just a beautiful truck. We'll actually have it up on the lift. You can tell how straight it is here. I've had more people stop in the park here and take a look at this truck. It's a good looking truck. Tastefully done, built to drive in this hot climate so it'll drive anywhere. All new bedsides, again this is a no bondo style truck, very nicely done. Everyone will require just a little bit skim here and there but the goal was to have no bondo in it. Upholstery was done here by Tim's Auto Upholstery, about similar time, maybe a little bit earlier. Um, Again, about 30K in body and paint in this, but door jam to door jam is what we're talking about here. Is a very, very nice uh, blue pearl coat. I'll get that word out this morning, a little bit tough. Power window addition, elimination of the wind wings like we talked about. The dash has been smooth and it's just a beautiful 57 dash, tilt steering column, you see it over there. We'll fire it up for you when we like we typically do. Has a matching uh, headliner that goes along with the same theme. Just a simple, nice, clean interior. It's a pickup truck. You want to drive it and use it. Factory style bench seat. Back windows tinted, so are the side windows. Not sure if the key needs to be on to get the window up. It does, so we'll do that over on the other side. All new uh, door latches and hardware. You'll see the CAD plating here. Door jam to door jam. Birds chirping in the park here. My favorite spot to photo shoot cars. I do them all over the country in the west side of the U.S. here. And uh, doors shut nice. Door gaps are nice. Again, it has a nice little mini tub. We'll spend some time on the bed here with you. See the reflections of the uh, bleached wood on the back of the cab there, or the forward side of the bed. Same polished stainless hardwares underneath the hood.
factory style bumpers front and rear which gives it just a nice clean look helicopter coming out now desert storm this weekend nice bow tie style tailgate with hidden latch or hidden access get a little quiet when I study these LED tail lights on the back you'll see how the bed ends have been rolled here and filled the bed the uh, bed pockets have been filled on it stainless tail light assemblies with the LEDs just got the nice stance let me get back here and kind of give you a feel you're gonna pick up a lot of the color right now it is a dark blue Kind of give you an idea of the color here. Door handles are all new replated. It has a, uh, get a little quiet there, the factory VIN tag, or the uh, body patent tag is here. It has a Arizona reassigned VIN on it because of the front uh, suspension upgrade in the front. So it makes it legal in all 50 states. Power windows here like we talked about. We're going to fire it up here. I'm going to... Put these windows up. See how they have a tin on them. Big window, back window tinted the same. A little bit here in the light. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so I can get the uh, get the dash out of the sunlight here, and we can kind of get a better feel for it. Roll up the passenger side window. See the tint in it. We'll get out and let you hear it run here too. Put it back in park. Has the Dakota Digital dash in it. It's got 6,899 since uh, the da dash is installed and then since the restoration it was probably less than that. 14.4 volts, 175 water temperature, fuel 81%, oil pressure 35 and I'm sure it'll go up, it'll go up to 40 or so if I bring the R's up, 45. Billet uh, shifter, AM, FM, CD radio in it. Here's the uh, AC controls down here. We'll get out and let you hear it run. Sweet. Hey, I'm thinking you'll like this one. It's a nice pickup. Again, we'll have it up on the lift here shortly. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. We'll get you underneath the hood here next. Have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video for the undercarriage. Have a, talk to you later. All right, just a short little clip here on the tailgate in the back. It's got these L-shaped polished aluminum brackets on it. You would have to, in order to lower the tailgate, you'd have to take out the hardware on each side to get it down. You're not going to put anything in the bed in this anyway, other than a couple of nice chairs for sitting at the show. The fuel tank has been relocated to the back. Again, the bleached wood is just really nice. Anyway, we think you get the idea. All right, as promised, we'll get you underneath the hood. Very nice inside and out. The blue pearl coat finish and they did just did a beautiful job on this truck the paint finish everywhere we'll kind of talk about that first here as we go around nice polished stainless allen hardware underneath the hood here you can kind of get an idea the firewall was all smoothed very nice nice recess in the firewall for the GM HEI ignition we'll get the bottom side of the hood then we'll start talking about what's underneath the hood here 
Underneath the hood is a uh, Chevy 350 V8. Not a lot is known about the uh, internals on it, but it's it's been gone through and made sure everything was right on it. It has uh, it's a 350 Chevy V8 with an Edelbrock polished intake manifold, performer intake manifold, Edelbrock AFB carburetor, nice polished bow tie valve covers sitting on uh, Edelbrock polished aluminum heads, polished billet and chrome uh, belt drive system on the front here, polished AC compressor. Kind of get a feel here looking down front, but very nice and tidy, just clean. Kind of truck you can drive, and this gentleman drives it. Um, polished high amp alternator here, coolant recovery tank here. This is a power steering reservoir for a modernized power steering pump down low for the new uh, uh, belt system on the front. That's a custom built radiator by Mike's Radiator here in Lake Havasu. It has twin uh, electric bands on it. Has uh, Ceramic coated long tube headers on it with dual exhaust by Jeff's here in Lake Havasu. 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. A little bit of traffic here in the park this time of day. Ford 9 inch rear differential with like 350 ratio, posi, posi track, parallel leaf springs. I already mentioned the GM HEI ignition, but we think you get, you're getting the idea. This is really just a good looking truck. It's just nice and tidy. You could never build it for what he, uh, what you can buy it for. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more. We'll have this girl up on the lift for you. Thanks for listening. All right, as promised, we got it up on the lift. A uh, little bit of background noise with a shredding a few trees across the street, but we can talk over that. Anyway, like we talked around, talked about on the walk around, this is a really solid truck. Um, we knew that. We got up on the lift before I did the shoot, and we after the shoot here we. Got it up on the lift to do the uh, video and the undercarriage photos that will be at Spud's Garage. Start in the back here, that's a, uh, the gas tank's been relocated to the back of the truck instead of inside the cab. That's a uh, 60's Mustang style gas tank, so it's uh, got a rear fill in the bed. Just a nice fit for these, dual exhaust, it has parallel leaf springs in the back, which it would have had from the factory, uh, but they've been updated with Ford 9 inch rear differential, 350 ratio, posi tracked rear end in it. Typical uh, 9 inch drum brakes in the rear. This is the uh, all new wood on the bottom side of the bed. You see that? The bleached or blonde wood on the top side. Dual exhaust. We'll get up here to the front end, but like we talked about, this is a the whole, other than the cab, everything was taken off this. It is virtually a uh, uh, down to metal refinish of the truck. And it's nice and solid underneath here. No issues. Has a drop down stainless battery. Flips down GM style. Cross member that's nicely attached to the, uh, we talked during the walk around that it had a uh, Camaro style front clip on it. And it's nicely done. We'll cover the engine and stuff here and then I'll cover the clip with you. Uh, 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission, bottom side of the 350 Chevy. Get up to the front suspension here. A lot of times these uh, front suspensions out of Camaros are the perfect fit for these, but many times I've seen over the years, and I've been doing this a lot of years as you know, lot, oftentimes they're poorly installed. This is nicely installed by a pro here in Lake Havasu. You'll see where it's attached to the chassis and the frame. It's actually uh, well attached which is your biggest concern with these usually generally and, and the nice thing about these suspension kits is the parts are uh, bulletproof they're designed and they're easy to get and they're affordable GM calipers up front disc brakes it has power disc brakes I forgot to cover that with you upgraded uh, dual reservoir master cylinder probably off a of Corvette uh, power brakes on it just nice and clean and detailed on the bottom side Again, rock solid. Kind of give you a feel here. We'll turn around, go the other direction, and then uh, make sure you go to Spud's Garage to look at the rest of the photos. Nice and dry. Has factory power steering on it. See the pulleys? You've seen the engine from the top. You're looking at it from the bottom now. It's a modern power steering pump on it. With external reservoir. 
Uh, now we're thinking you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Great solid truck, beautiful paint job on it. Take you for a drive, you can drive this one, that's for sure. Uh, CarQuest uh, or Gabriel style truck and van shocks in the back. There you go, have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com, talk to you later. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me.